It feels like it's been a little while since I've done a VR games this month video. It really hasn't because obviously it's been a month, but so much has happened in December that it just feels like it's been a while. But we're back with a January video for PSVR 2 games and I thought there really wasn't much coming this month, but I was definitely wrong. And one of the big things that proved me wrong was the PSVR without parole. PSVR 2 award show that happened a couple days ago now it will be as home recording it happened last night that was awesome to see all the support not only for without parole but also my section you guys jumped up in the comments that was just so weird but so amazing to see um to be a hats off to brian that show was great and we got some announcements there for stuff coming in january for psvr 2 as well as some games coming out in february and march and beyond but for now we're focusing on january so let's get straight into the games and dlc for psvr 2 coming out Kicking us off, we have January 15th, which brings us the DLC for VR Skater. If any of you own this game, it's getting a brand new DLC that seems to be bringing the non-linear skate parks into the game. I think this DLC is available on Pico, if I remember right, and essentially differs from the original PSVR 2 VR Skater maps, because on those maps, you're just going forward, you're doing your tricks, but I think you can go back and forth in the skate parks in this DLC, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure from the trailers that's what this is looks pretty awesome i haven't got my hands on vr skater just yet unfortunately i'll see if i can by the time this dlc comes out but for now vr skater is getting its dlc on january 15th and i'm very excited to see how it looks and plays on the awesome psvr2 headset a game that i really didn't think i'd see from these developers is toy trains vr on january 16th and why i mentioned the developers here is because these are the devs who made super hot one of the best action games in all of VR that unfortunately hasn't made its way to PSVR 2 just yet, but they've decided to delve into this sandbox, playful style VR game where you create toy train tracks, I think both in sandbox and with an actual storyline, which I'm actually quite excited for. If I can get my hands on this one, I'll definitely be covering it because a couple of years ago there was VR Trainer, I think it was called on the original PSVR, and that had some pretty cool physics and core gameplay mechanics of building toy train sets, but there was no like substance to a story or anything for that. But with the super hot devs behind this, I feel like they're gonna bring something pretty special. And with the features of PSVR 2, I reckon this one is gonna be so much fun. So keep an eye out for Toy Trains VR coming on January 16th to all platforms, but also to PSVR 2. And on January 18th, we have the classic Bulletstorm coming to VR in Bulletstorm VR. Bulletstorm is a fast paced, kick-ass action game that I think debuted in the PS3 era. I never got around to playing it, so playing through this will be a completely new experience for me, but it looks to have some incredible set pieces. The entire campaign brought into VR with all the mechanics, the guns, and the gameplay brought over to the PSVR 2 headset. And this one has been pushed back from its original date, so we're hoping for a very polished product when it does come out on January 18th. But I think this is going to be one of the single player greats for this month. I think it's going to be a load of fun and I hope it doesn't fly under the radar for a lot of people if it is living up to the standard that the trailers show it to be at. I'm very excited for Bulletstorm VR. I'm always down for a single player campaign in VR, especially one with very high intensive action. If I can get my hands on it early, I think I'm going to either do a full playthrough of Bulletstorm or a review, one of the two. We'll see how busy we are, but I'm very excited for this one, so keep an eye out for it. Now we're getting onto the games that are announced for January, but we don't have a date just yet. And the first one, of course, is the long awaited Vertigo 2. I can confirm that the game was delayed due to a bug. I talk more about it in match review. I never experienced this bug throughout my playthrough playing from start to finish throughout the game. I have played and completed the game on PSVR 2, so my review is ready to go. I will do some additional testing if they put out a patch before you know the full launch, just to update it but I am excited to see what people think of it on PSVR 2 and we don't have a date yet. I think it's gonna be very early January though, so keep your eye out for that. Perp Games, the people behind porting Vertigo 2 to the PS5 and PSVR 2, they put out a statement saying some news would be coming on January 2nd, so keep an eye out tomorrow. We'll probably get a release date tomorrow on their Twitter or something like that, so keep an eye out there. But Vertigo 2 is a massive expanse of a single player story, taking inspiration from Half-Life, many other influential games like that. And the entire game is actually online, so if you're really curious about what the game entails, you can go have a look because it's on other platforms. However, the PSVR 2 version we have had to wait for. And to be honest, when we're this close to the launch, I would say don't spoil it for yourself. Don't go and have a look at gameplay 
a full playthroughs of the game or whatever unless you really want to if you're going in blind and you're gonna play it anyway just jump in and play it because it genuinely is an incredible game in terms of the content that's in there i'm not allowed to talk about the psvr2 version until the embargo lifts but the actual game itself that's on pc is amazing so don't spoil it for yourself if you're gonna go and buy it obviously wait for reviews see what they say and go ahead and buy it if you're feeling confident about buying it um, and then experience the game for yourself but virgo 2 is coming out in january that was a lot of waffle from me there but uh, i'm just very excited for this release so uh, yeah virgo 2 keep an eye out for it also at some point in january we have honor and duty d-day enhanced coming out fully now we've had loads of betas over the past couple months even probably pushing up to the start of psvr 2 it wasn't too long afterwards when we start getting betas for this game of the community coming together and playing and it was great seeing so many familiar faces like miles dyer and a lot of you guys who i've seen in the comments actually coming in and playing a vr game with all of us it's essentially a massive battlefield like vr game albeit with a little bit of jank i will admit at least in the betas but it is a hell of a lot of fun especially with the massive player counts that it boasts that you can't really get anywhere else on psvr2 the setting as you can see is world war ii and the betas have been an absolute blast i'm hoping honor duty d-day vr keeps its release date in january which is currently set for and I do just miss playing this game, so I can't wait to jump back in. They've also announced that a lot of the Firewall devs that were really unfortunately laid off from First Contact Entertainment have been brought over to Honor and Duty D-Day VR to work on this game, so I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. So we should be getting quite a fun game launching in January. Keep an eye out for this game for sure. And finally, there are actually two flight games coming out in 2024 for PSVR 2. One of them is by Gaijin Entertainment, who do War Thunder, and we're getting Aces of Thunder from them. We don't know the release date of that game just yet, but we do know that the release date of Ultra Rings 2 is in January of 2024. Ultra Rings 2 is the first of two flight games we're getting this year, and it honestly has kind of impressed me with the trailer that they put out in the PSVR 2 Game Awards a couple days ago, because I didn't really know much about this title other than it was flight-based, but the flight controls do look pretty good, and the models, even though you can tell it's an indie studio, look great. And I think from what I heard about the first game, that was a load of fun, so I can't wait to see what Ultra Rings 2 brings to the table. It's full of challenges, exploration, some really fun plane flying mechanics, as the devs have said, with tons of content. That's one of the things they boasted throughout the last couple of months, especially with the whole Project Wingman fiasco. When that happened, Ultra Wings came out and said, if you're waiting for a good flight sim, We've got a ton of content for you to play through with a ton of aircraft and a load of fun. So I'm very excited for Ultra Wings 2. Fingers crossed it comes out and does well. I'm going to be covering that one for sure. But we don't know the re but we don't know the exact release date of that one. Just we know it's coming in January. So keep an eye open for the release date when that gets announced. Anyway, that concludes our little journey through January of 2024, the first month of 2024, and a kickoff to hopefully a great year for PSVR 2. I do have a video on 2024 games overall in terms of what I'm looking forward to for PSVR 2. So you can go have a look at that one if you so wish. So we've got a lot of good stuff coming out throughout the rest of the year, but January looks to be a good start. I'm excited to jump into it. So thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video.